Welcome to my house tour. say about a kitchen compared to the last what <clears throat> few videos that you've seen I've got new tiles <laughs> new handles for my door that's about it really it's a kitchen there's my new handles sexy <clears throat> So, yeah, I've got a few decorative things. Fridge full of shit. Um, but yeah, that's about it, really. I don't really know what you're supposed to say on house tour. This is a kitchen. This is where I cook stuff. And go to the fridge to get food. Because I am fat now. <laughs> and I eat every two hours. But yeah, everybody always says like, oh, don't worry about your house. Because, like, you'll change it every year. And it is true, like, when you've got a house, you never, I don't think you're ever finished. Um, I probably won't be anyway, because I'm so indecisive. But, yeah, this is my little kitchen so far. Hope you like it take you through to the living room and then I'll show you the bottom of the stairs not that you haven't already seen it about council houses now this is a council house and when I say to people that I live in a council house they sort of pull a face and I think I don't know why you're pulling a face because I pay rent <laughs> I pay council tax and people seem to think that if you live in a council house you don't pay rent <clears throat> or you do but you just don't pay as much trust me I know enough pay the same as somebody else renting a house. So when people look down the nose at me when I say I live in a council house, I'm like, why? I still shell out about £600 a month just in council tax and rent. So yeah, I'll take you a little tour around the room. I've currently got Walking Dead on because I'm I would say I'm trying to catch up, but I've seen it all about six times and I'm on the new episodes now and I'm not really ready for it to finish, but I'll take you a wander. Photo frame from when me and Adam first went on holiday. My fake plants, because I don't know why, right, but since I've stopped smoking, I was one of these people that smoked in house. I know, I know, gross. But now I don't smoke, Adam goes outside. All my house plants have died, apart from one. And I'll show you that in a minute. And that house plant is really annoying because it keeps getting them tiny, tiny little flies in it. But yeah, so I've bought cheap fake ones from Home Bargains. And I think that was £2. And this one, 
I think we're two par 50. You've got Adam's guitar that he hasn't played on for ages. And my battery's flashing, so I'm going to have to be quick in here and stick you on charge. Bookshelf. Yes, I have read every single book on there. Shit shelf. Shelf with loads of shit. My new purchase. How cool is he? It's a gorilla. <laughs> that is my house plant that keeps getting shitloads of flies in it. They're only tiny. Like, flick it and it die. But I just don't know why. I don't know why I keep getting flies. We have the Papuna. See, she knows I'm talking about her. My puff. Everything in this house, I've got to say, is second hand. Apart from like little decoration -y bits. Sofa. Got it off my brother in law. Puff. Paid a tenner for it. Facebook Marketplace. And my favourite part about the front room is this. And it's one of my favourites because it was my granddad's. And he's died now, so yeah, it's a record player. But I'm going to have to just put you on charge for a minute before we do the rest of the tour. BRB. Now I'm back up and charged. Let's turn the light on so you can see me a bit better. I will show you the bottom of the stairs. I think this is probably one of the favourite, my favourite bits about the house. And I know that's sad because it's the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> but I don't know. I just quite like it. It's quite cosy. Most of the rooms in my house are really, really small as well, so it's hard to sort of put the tripod in one corner of the room where you're going to see everything. So that's the kitchen. As you walk through, you've got the mirrors, goes through into the front room. I don't have that on for anybody that's worried about a fire risk. I just want the uh, sexy plants on there. Fake, of course. And then, because I've now, because I'm now fat, I have to sit here to put my shoes on. <laughs> I can't bend down as much. So what I did was the, they actually had legs on it, and you'll probably remember it from some of my other videos. It had legs on it, took the legs off it, Stuck some pillows on it. Now it's a chair. She says Improvise. Yeah. But yeah, you've got my lady, my lady head there, and everybody says, "Oh my God, she's very cool." And I oh know. <laughs> so we'll go upstairs. I will take you up the stairs. That's just a view of the stairs for now. And as we get up the stairs, so bottom of the stairs, top of the stairs, and then that's just the landing. I also get out of breath to a quick walking upstairs now. <laughs> that's what, uh, only having 13 weeks left does to you. She's crushing everything. But yeah, everybody always says when they come up, up or down my stairs that it reminds them of a hotel. And I'm not quite sure why. It doesn't really give me hotel vibes, but everybody else says it does. So yeah, not really fussed. But the 
mirror was from a charity shop and I think it cost me about three pound. The fake plants are from the range and I realised that I didn't tell you where half of the stuff's from in the living room but like I say it's second hand. If it weren't second hand it was Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to struggle to show you <laughs> the toilet because the toilet is separate and it's just there and because it's separate it's only small so you won't get me in the toilet I'll just show you my toilet <clears throat> and I went for a I wanted a monkey theme I always wanted a monkey like a gorilla or something sat above the toilet and I, I didn't really want to pay 40 odd quid for a gorilla like painting so I improvised <laughs> And look how cool this is. Hey, <laughs> my monkey pull. And then I've got a monkey toilet roll holder. And then if you look behind the door, we have Turk. And my brilliant, um, <clears throat> what would you call it? Storage cabinet. From John Pie Auction. And I want to come out of the bathroom now. But yeah, that um, little storage cabinet thing cost me £6 from John Pie Auction. So, technically it was new, but it's not because it's like second, no, returns or X display. So somebody might have had it, bought it and thought, nah, don't like this. Now I've got it. Bathroom, the same, quite small. So I will take you through. I have recently just wallpapered it. It was all yellow because I wanted some. Oh, we're a bit dark. Let's turn the light on. I wanted something that was a bit more um, vibrant. Is that the word? Oh, that's made me really dark now. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll show you the bathroom. So like I say, the wallpaper I have literally just done and you're probably thinking wallpaper in a bathroom but yeah it just needed a bit of summer and then you've got my tassely shower curtain, shut the door, I don't do regular tie backs so I've got a piece of rope and then you've got my little bath thing, we have a bath shelf and obviously Get naked. So that's my bathroom. And I'd love to get rid of these tiles because they're just awful. But bathroom tiles are so expensive. So I don't think I'll be doing that yet. And obviously we've got baby on way. So it'll probably stay how it is for now. <clears throat> Like I say, people keep saying to me, oh, don't worry about your house because it takes years to get it to where you want it to be. And yeah, I can see that, but I'm an impatient person. I want it done now. I don't have the funds to do it now, but I want it done now. We will go through to the bedroom. And to say this is like mine and Adam's bedroom, you'd think that this would be the room that it'd be done and it's not it's like so plain and boring <laughs> but I don't know what I want I thought I wanted panelling and then I changed my mind and then I was going to put wallpaper up and then I changed my mind I don't like clutter as you can see like none of my rooms are cluttered because I just 
one, I've got to dust it. And two, I don't know, I think with my BPD, like, I don't like to see too many things because it just fogs up my brain. But let's have a look at the bedroom. And if you've been with me from the beginning, you'll know that my bedroom's changed quite a lot. It's gone from pink to green. Now it's Egyptian cotton, so it looks even more boring. <laughs> This is what it looks like when you walk in. Oh yeah, also, <laughs> I had a floor bed. If any of you can remember, I had a floor bed. So this is what my room looks like now. My bed, my curtains, my lampshade. And then around this side, you've got my trusty mirror. Hello. And then my fan, because I get too hot at night and sweaty. Should have really put them clothes away, couldn't be asked. And then you've got obviously Turk and his mates up there. So yeah, that's just a storage cupboard with God, all sorts of shite in it. It's not just one specific <laughs> thing, it's got all sorts. Ta da, ta da, ta da. <laughs> This house though, the thing with this house is, there isn't any storage, as you can see. So, in the nursery, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, why are you flashing saying no minutes? Does that mean I've run out of space on my memory card? I hope not, because I can't be bothered to do this again. <laughs> I'll take you through to the nursery, that don't look anything like a nursery at the moment. It's just a shit old dumping room. But this will be the nursery. And it was flashing that way because I didn't have enough memory on my memory card, so I've just had to delete some things. And now I'll take you through to the nursery. That's not a nursery, it's a dumping room. What well, technically it's Frodo's room, you will see. So we've got Frodo. That's what we've got for storage, so that's another like little cupboard thing for storage but yeah we've got cot to put up Moses basket a walker that she can't use till <laughs> well she's at least what one all of that is full of crap we don't have no drying space so obviously we've got clothes drying everywhere which means this shit everywhere but baby clothes Baby clothes, baby clothes, <laughs> baby clothes, shoes and Moses basket blankets. Oh, and do you know what? This is right annoying. It keeps falling off. So I'm going to have to get on. And in here we have loads of newborn nappies. How cute are they? Mum and bought them. Little Converse socks. Little Nike set. These are all like boxed stuff. And in there is a banner that will... I don't know whether I'm going to put it around her in the hospital, but it's got a name on it. So I can't show you that yet. But I will just give you a little quick... show of uh, the wardrobe stuff because that is my section <laughs> this little bit here and that is baby girl section so i mean i've got some stuff down at the bottom but me and baby girl will be sharing a wardrobe i mean i've got loads of coats in that wardrobe but I'm not moving all the shit to show you. So that's about it for my house tour at the moment. Obviously, I will show you when we start decorating the nursery. Let's come out of this room because it's a shit hole. 
Um, so yeah, once I've started decorating the nursery, I'll bring you along. You can watch me and Adam decorate the nursery together and fall out loads because I'm just not good at working in a team. <laughs> Most of the house, the decorating in the house, I've done it myself because I'm just no good at working with anybody else. And that's a downfall of mine. But I feel a sense of achievement when I've done it myself. <laughs> and I keep looking at myself in, in this mirror and I think, oh my God, look how chunky you look. <laughs> But I know I'm supposed to. So, yeah, look at me now. I have to keep pulling me size 14 to 16s up because I bought them a bit too big because I wanted uh, the growing room. But yeah, 13 weeks left to go, so there's not really much time <laughs> for me and Adam uh, to sort the nursery out, but we will. Uh, I think that's about it. For my little house tour i would show you the garden but it's just a garden there's no exciting about it i'll show i'll show it you from the back window one second i also don't want people to know where i live <laughs> so literally that's my back garden like down here I've got some wooden seating, over there is just a massive pile of wood that is going, I don't know if you can see Danny's garden at the bottom, there's loads of wood there but he's coming to fetch some of the pallets to burn them because they're having a bonfire because it's coming up to bonfire night and I'll tell you what, I didn't have one trick or treat last night. I bought sweets and everything. I didn't have one. Yeah, that's my house tour so far. We've still got obviously flooring to get downstairs. In the front room, we put laminate down, but we need the beading to go round the outside. But beading's so expensive. I never thought like flooring, well, no, flooring never used to be that expensive. Obviously I've owned a house. I've lived in, this is like the fifth house that I've rented. So yeah, the flooring's never been that expensive. But thank you for joining me on my little house tour. I just, I know people are nosy like I am and I love to look around people's houses. <laughs> this is my little council house. It might not look much to some people like there's no grey. I can't stand grey. Adam loves it. But I can't stand it. Um, other than like our bedroom being a bit boring because I don't really know what to do with it. We're pretty much done and like I say we've got the nursery to do but I don't know whether I want to do that pink like I've said or the boho, boho, boohoo but whatever kind of style. I'm not sure, this is what I mean, I'm so indecisive. This is why my house will never ever get done. Because I'll decide on one thing and then it'll be like, hmm, no, I don't want that. So yeah, I'm gonna sit down now and have, I wanna say a cup of tea, but I don't drink tea anymore. So I'm not even gonna have a cup of tea. I will sit down and have a bottle of water and edit this. And I will probably see you in the next video, which will probably be, like all of the stuff, all the baby stuff that I've bought so far, I can't wait to do that because there's absolutely loads. It'll probably be about a half an hour video. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you for watching my house tour and I know I've walked around in a beanie hat. It's not even cold. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching my house tour and I will see you soon.